So now the 2D part of this project is complete. We will make the 3D geometry from these 2D shapes. So for that, I'll first start with the 3D modeling workspace. So let's go to this drop down and change workspace to 3D modeling. Now go to this flyout, select the revolve tool and select this geometry, press enter and click on this point and we need to turn on object snap, then click on this point, then this point and press enter. So this will convert our 2D geometry into 3D shape. Now let's bring back the images by selecting this end object isolation and now select this axis and ellipse and make an ellipse at this place here, just like this. Now press enter to repeat the ellipse tool or you can also select it from the draw panel and make another ellipse at this point. Okay, now let's select both of these ellipses and bring them outside this image. And now we'll sweep them. So select the sweep tool, click on the first ellipse, press enter and now click on this path. And we are not able to sweep it because the path has some sharp edges or the corners so we'll make it less sharp by manipulating it once again and now let's try the sweep tool once again so select it select select the ellipse and the path and here we have it now we are able to make it now repeat the process for this part of the spline as well so i'll select the sweep tool select this ellipse select the path and here also we are not able to make it so let's look for the sharp corners and here we have one so let's hover our cursor and select this remove vertex and now we can try again and here we have completely clear geometry so let's try the sweep tool once again so select the ellipse press enter and select the path and here we have it the 3d geometry now we need to move it on the 3D shape which we have made earlier but before that we'll just hide it. So select right click and hide object. Now select both of these geom geometries, select the move tool and move it right on this object here. And just make sure that it is partially inside and partially outside the object just like this. And if you are not able to see this properly, you can change the visual style also to see it more clearly. So I'll go to this and drop down and change the visual style to hidden and it's not very clear. So I'll once again change it to let's say wireframe and not clear. So I'll change it to x-ray and here we have it. Now we can see it more clearly. And if you want to see even more clearly the parts which are intersecting then select this intersection tool or interfere tool and select both of these objects press enter and now select this solid and press enter again now you will see the solid in red and we can orbit our geometry from this window select the orbit tool and now you can see the geometries which are common for both the solids just like this and once you are satisfied with the 3d shape you can exit this view or you can change the 3d solids according to your need i'll simply exit this tool and close it here let's go to the top view and let's rotate it to an angle of 90 degrees and now let's look at this shape here you can see that our geometry is ending inside the solid shape which we don't want we want it to end outside just like this so we will bend this geometry a little bit so that it ends somewhere outside the bottle shape and not within that bottle shape so i'll just make it like this and change it for this side as well so here also you need to ensure that it ends somewhere outside the bottle shape not inside and I'll click at this point. Now repeat this process for the second solid shape as well. So here also we need to ensure that it does not end within the 3D solid and we can just make this geometry like this. Now we can use the subtract tool, but before that we need to make a polar array. So select polar array and select both of these objects, press enter. Now go to this axis of rotation and click on the center point and we need to turn on object snap so now select this center point and now move downwards 
here and we can select the endpoint. So for that, press and hold shift key, then right click, select endpoint and click on this endpoint here. Okay, now we have six objects here, which will change to eight. So in number of items type eight, press tab key. You can change it to seven objects as well. And now make sure that this associative option is unchecked. And now close the array. And here we have it. Now let's see this geometry and yes, we have it clearly here. And now we can subtract the shapes here. So before that, let's save this drawing now and I'll save it with A as its name and save it on the desktop. Now let's go to the subtract tool and now select this bottle shape and press enter. Now select all of these geometries and also these all shapes and press enter again. So this will subtract the geometry and now we have this shape. So now we will add fillets to the sharp edges of the shape. So select the fillet edge tool and select the radius and now we'll manually apply the radius. So for that, I'll click at two points in this drawing area. So click at first and then this second point. So this will be the radius and now select the loop option from the command line and click on any of these loops. And here we have it. Now the fillet will be applied on this complete highlighted loop. Now press enter and here we have the fillet. Now press enter twice to accept the fillet value. And we can apply the same fillet on all of the remaining grooves as well. So you can change the view and you can see this fillet quite clearly. Okay, so now we have applied the fillet on all of these shapes here or all of these grooves and we can apply the fillet on this side as well. So here also you can follow the same process and here we have it, the final fillet. And now let's change the visual style to see it more clearly and here we have the final 3D shape. So in the next video, we will add more details to this 3D bottle shape.